plastic from the house and that particular uh, ejection station are within the 100 feet buffer. But at this point, and Janice, please chime in uh, with any comments, but I don't see a real problem with this, but since he doesn't have any of the approved team, so it's now 20, 2022, so, um, and I don't see him uh, or anybody here representing tonight. I don't know if somebody is in the room, uh, if they could please speak up, but. Uh, Bill, can you hear me? Oh, 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 yes. Is this Kevin? Yeah, yes. Uh, Mr. Marshall yeah. is yeah, Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, the Wi-Fi wants to my phone. Um, oh, okay. Please stand by, Kev, for about five minutes. We're, we're, we're discussing 2.30. We would search. Uh, through, he referred to the Board of Health having documents on the septic system design, having some information. way is installed at this point. The septic system is installed at this point. Um, there's clearly no disturbance, but the problem is he doesn't have anything to prove that he went through an approval process, nor because of 2019, Jan, Janice has looked in our records and we can't. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on one second, folks, because I think I might have what we're looking for, unbelievably. Please stand oh. by. Okay. Yep, believe, yeah, okay, this is done by Actually, this is done, and you did this, didn't you? You did a plan for um, approval. It's an ANR subdivision plan for Gerald Archambeau Jr. Uh, that's correct. We did that. We did that for a previous owner, uh, okay. Michalowski. Yourself. I'll send it to Kevin. And um, and uh, and. Um, we, yeah, we let me get this. That plan where Mr. Archambault added in, you know, pencil or something, the approximate house and barn location further up the hill. And it was based on a Chapdelaine plan. So it may be the same or not. I'm not sure. It didn't have a real wetland. It only had wetlands as taken from MassGIS or something like that. Okay, hold on. Let me resend this. Bill, this is Kevin. Can you can you hear me? Oh, oh yes, you're, you're loud and clear now. Um, I got about five different things on the docket here. I'm going to send I'm going to send this Archambault plan right now to everybody. Just bear with me one second, please. Sure. Plane. What he can yeah, about why, why, yeah, why don't you have him explain the project while I get the, the video sent to everybody, okay? Yeah. Just hold on one second here. Yeah, uh, you're right. Gerald, if you, if you could explain your project once again, that would be fine. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So, the... Um, Project that I'm doing is uh, building a house on a barn. So I'm just asking for. The documentation. I didn't try to um, contact, but I'm sure it is somewhere. Uh, I have. A I just want to make sure we all have this. Yep. It's a big plot plan of the whole thing. Okay. Here we go. Janice, pardon me. Um, Janice and everybody, do, have, do you see this plan set? Yeah. We, this is the one we have also built. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's the same plan. Okay. It, okay. it was created by uh, Ed, Ed's office. Um, okay. 
April of 2018. Okay. Okay, so when you guys did the site visit on Monday, did um, and where that proposed barn is, which I think it looks like somebody hand drew it and it says something about toilet and sink, one half bath, and then sewer line to house. So, so where that barn is, that's, that's going uphill, and there's nothing at all at that point. Okay. Okay. All right. So, 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 in your opinion, everything look, looks clear on this project. I think so. Yes. Okay. That's all, all right. So, so Gerald, did you file an RDA on this or an NOI? I didn't file anything. You did hundred feet away from the work site. From the house and the barn, yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well over 100 feet. Okay. All right. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys because you guys are on the uh, project without a permit, uh, wetlands permit. And uh, we have a second for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll second that. So, okay. You don't need my phone on this anyway. It's a building yeah. permit, but I'm going to receive them. So. Do you have anything to add, Janet? I don't. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Uh, any how any motion to uh, approve this project without a wetlands permit? Well, that, that we, we it's already been second, I guess. Oh, all right. I guess we uh, vote to approve. Yep. All in favor, aye. All in favor, aye. Yep. Any nays? Kevin, did you do a uh, yes also? Yep. Okay, so we can let Mr. Rochambeau know that he's, his project is approved and he can move towards his building permit. And I guess, Bill, will you let Mr. Uh, Riggs know about this? I will. I, I will call him the next day or so, yes. Okay. Hard. Uh, Janice, I never received anything from the applicant on this. I went on to Mass Mapper. And again, the wetlands appears to be that I think Bill maybe knows the site a little bit of the area. And from what I could tell from Mass Mapper and all, it didn't look like it's a it's a regular housing development area. So it didn't seem like there were any wetlands nearby that we needed to to worry about that okay. we're within range. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. So, uh, Can I hear a motion to uh, uh, that this project can move forward without a wetlands permit? I'll make a motion to that the, per, the uh, full permit can move forward. Yeah, they, they, oh. it's, I got a question. We're just, are these people applying with a building permit or they're just building permits? So I, I think we should just not even discuss RDAs or NOI. So I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna retract my uh, motion and uh, if it's just a building permit, we're just going under the building permit checklist, if you will. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we should get into the saying, yeah, hey, you know, you're clear from an RDA standpoint, because I think that's just putting ourselves too far out there. But, but for a building permit, for a swimming pool, I well, don't see I, an issue I with, with I agree with you, Ed, but last meeting, we went through probably six of these on various sites where we uh, they were nowhere near wet. I, 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 yeah, I do remember that, but I'm just saying, I don't know if we should be, you know, work RDA or an NOI. I, I, it's, and, uh, we'll, we'll follow, we'll keep moving forward. And it's just for that particular request or, or project. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, and everybody, any nays, any abstentions? So it's unanimous. All right. I'm taking notes tonight also, so it's not going to move as quickly. So anyway, the next project is uh, 108 110 Morgan Street. It's a new house um, building lot in that development. Uh, I have no problem with it, but Ed, you put up that we should be looking at the flood maps. Uh, I don't know what flood yeah, maps that's... to look at. Yeah, that, that area there has been uh, back in the day. Probably... Yeah. Mass map overlay, and I was just bringing that to you know just to make sure they're outside the hundred feet. I'm pretty sure they are, but I just wanted to make sure. 
So the large property is in the back that's quite wet and they're trying to sell it right now. But this particular lot is surrounded by houses. So sure, I, I, I think it's a redevelopment. So. Oh, okay. But so. yeah, I just throwing it out there. Somebody could check that. And if it's out of the hundred year flood point. 16 or somewhere back there, when I looked on the older Google maps, there used to be a house at that site. I thought there was also. Yes. Yeah, but now it's, it was gone since then. It's gone. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, 108. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Eight. Sorry, it took me a while to get to it. Okay. Now, uh, I'm trying to think what it's under, whether it's under conservation recreation. I think you type in, uh, in, the, in the questionnaire in the uh, search box, uh, 100 year blood plant or FEMA. I don't see a, yeah, I don't see the search box. Uh, um, so you have a right corner. Oh, oh, okay. Nope, it still doesn't like it. Okay. okay. Um, flood. See. Type in flood. I'll try just that. Okay. No, I think it's the what first one you had mentioned. Okay, the FEMA National Flood Hazard Layer, and I don't see anything, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to double check. Um, I'll try putting in the other one too. Polygons. Okay, this one should be a bunch of them. I still don't see anything near there. I just want to make sure that it's on there. Hmm. I well, just behind it, just, I know directly behind it in the floodplain. Huh. So zone A. For some reason, it's not showing. I've got it checked, but it's not showing anything. But I don't see anything. Even when I zoom out, I don't see anything. So it's not. Yeah, you're, you're missing there. So that's OK. I, I just if if. Are we signing off on a building permit today or? Well, that, that's, that's uh, what it would be. Yeah, maybe well, we could ask Greg to check on the. Uh, he is the floodplain manager. Or will yeah, be. Let me, let me chime in, guys. Well, I, spoke, I spoke to him about that the other day. In your right end, apparently there's a new initiative statewide where building inspectors are now being trained to become floodplain managers. I don't think they're yes. terribly enthused about it, but I guess that's what they're going to be doing. So, um, whatever you want me to do, I'll talk to Greg Briggs and try to try to be a, a go-between between us and him. But uh, th this is again, this is going to be a real pain in the fanny. I can sense this one. I understand. Uh, like I say, just just bring it to your attention. Bring it to Greg's attention. Yeah. You know, if it's about the hundred-year floodplain, that's great. Yeah, I, you know, I don't have an issue with the project. It's yeah. Well, it's just an address. Is that what you got, Jan? Yeah, that's it. Well, what's the address on this one, Janice? 108 slash 110 Morgan Street. Yeah, it's two. It oh, looks like okay. it's two right. lots that's, together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the one um, between New Ludlow Road and the air base. That's right. Correct. That's right. Yeah. That's right. On the corner of the street, there's a mobile home. That's right. And it's right behind there. That's right. That's exactly right. Yes, yes, yes. So evidently there are two lots joined together. Uh, the yeah, that's right. Yeah, they consolidated the lots and now someone wants to build a house there. That's right. Septic design on that one? No. Yeah, Ed, Ed for your, just for your interest, John Kopinski did a septic design and he also did a uh, a building location plan, calling out offsets from the property lines. Sure, sure. 
but he's not yeah, he's he's not an RLS. Well, uh, yeah, but I'm sure he he has a proven board of health city, if you will, down there. He said, "Well, what do we call for water table in that area?" And the old call was ground surface. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, so they, it's used, they, used to, yeah, they used to call the water table a ground surface there. So it, it, it's a wow. very wet area, believe me. So it's essentially zero, zero depth of water table. Of uh, material that's stripped is just exposed gravel. Yeah. So it's an interesting site. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so how do we so move you forward? Follow up. I think Bill's going to follow up with Greg Briggs on it and find out. I will. Sure I will. Happened. Yeah, I think we've, I've already talked to him about it. Now, there's a person. Uh, what was her name that bought it? There's a there's a woman that bought the property. Uh, the last name is like Soka. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. She called me by telephone. I, I'm sorry. I'm like multitasking here. I'm doing a bunch yep. of emails right now. But uh, yeah. Okay. So so actually, we got that issue to deal with. And just um, dovetail a um, a uh, watershed uh, yeah, flood, flood plain, plain. Flood plain. Yeah. yeah, and that's one again that I've been working with Mr. Briggs on, and I guess we're kind of at an impasse on that one as well. Okay, there's so, no one here unless Janice, you're prepared to talk on it. I don't see anybody in the room to talk unless Kevin, there's somebody in the hall. Oh, for the um, lot one, Chickabee Street? No, 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 not Chickabee Street. We're talking about Sanders. Uh, it's, it's, it's the Grand Cash and Carry site. Yeah, yeah, the old the old Cash and Carry site, Janice. Street Lumber. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any information on that at all. Okay. Ed, just... the last time we spoke about that on the telephone, what did we conclude? Drug my memory. Uh, I guess we're going to need somebody who's in charge. Oh, I'm sorry, switch the screens back. To, uh, Bill, I think, were, I think we need to. to, to Sorry, Janice? Yeah, Bill had contacted Joy, whatever her last name is, from FEMA about the floodplain manager and that sort of thing. Hold, hold on one second. I think. I think and I think there was something there about. They still said that the town still had to have someone. Yeah, I, she wasn't from FEMA. She was from a uh, mass, uh, mass equivalent FEMA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's mass. She was mass. Dot okay. Joy Dupero. Yeah. Was commissioner signing off on something like that. Yeah, no, it doesn't we, make sense. You know, we're not we're not the overseer of the uh, we're not the floodplain manager. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Unless somebody could point to us in some town meeting that that the commission was appointed, and that would be sometime around the time when FEMA was uh, the the FEMA maps were adopted as uh, I think it was eighty one, eighty two. Uh -huh. So it could be 1979, 1980, once we were assigned. Right, right. right. This, uh, a new home. Okay, well, yeah. hey, thanks for coming back. We're seeing meeting right now. Okay. Okay, come and join us if you want. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bye. Well, I, I can note it that way, and we'll wait for Bill to right back, which he has. Okay. I just Bill. Got what we were talking about, Bill, is the wet, or the floodplain, as I guess we're looking at. And if I understand it correctly, if it's within the 100 foot, 100 year floodplain here. If, 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 let, let me just give you a little bit of historical. Um, I've done I've done building projects below the 100 year flood elevation in the past. The projects I've worked on, we've had to actually install what they call flood doors in the building, oh. which means it's possible. And again, I don't know what the building code is currently with respect to floodplain, whether or not they would deny the project, but it's very possible that they would require flood doors in the basement of the building. And of course, so, the other question is, 
the other question is the compensatory storage. Comp storage is going to kick in too on this, particularly if they're going to elevate the leach field, which it looks like they're going to. So, Dave, to answer your question, that would be a permit under us. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And my and my guess is if they're putting fill in for the leach field below the hundred year flood elevation, it's clearly going to require comp storage. And from what I require, uh, remember from John Kopitsky's uh, storage in that area. Right, right. So like you say, let's take it one step at a time. I think their first step is they got to file for an NOI with the commission. Well, that's, that's if they're in a floodplain. We don't even know that yet. We need that's to right. We don't even out. know yet. That's right. We don't know anything yet. That's right. Now, it's well, what, Janice, what document did you look at which suggested we were in the floodplain? Right. Ed, yeah. Ed is the one that brought it up, Bill, not Janice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't access the, the mass mapper or uh, I, I accessed FEMA through my phone. I was able to look at the FEMA maps on my phone, but they're the old ones. And they do have an overlay on the, uh, the live view, I guess the live view, quote unquote, live view, where you, it's aerial photograph and you can scroll in, scroll out. The whole area is just dotted. I, it makes no sense. We're not even up. They haven't even reviewed our maps, so we're, 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 still, we're still running 1981. Well, that's right. Yeah. We're still using the old map set. And actually, right. I have a hard copy of the old map set down the basement here. Um, yeah. Let no. me go on Mass Mapper myself and just see what well, I can find. Come along with regards to that particular floodplain, but we mm. need to verify. Uh, that and I don't think we're we don't need to take the time of the commission right now to determine that that's something this home builder should really bring forward but Bill if you okay. could check with Greg Briggs to verify this is it something we should concern uh, be concerned about because then as as you point out if it isn't a floodplain they need to file an NOI so do some due diligence with Greg Briggs to see, do we have to be concerned about the 100-year flood? That's right. Okay. Du duly noted, Dave. Yeah, let's move on. It's 734. Let's move forward here. Yeah, Thank because you. it's getting it's getting late yeah, here. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Well, and again, Steve Ryberty is here. Um, well, no, he's not with that's Steve Carpenter. I'm getting my projects mixed up. I don't know if anybody's here for Granby Cash and Carry, and I don't know if anybody's here for... 51 Forge Pond. I, I think both of those folks are not here. So I think Alex was going to be uh, for the 51 Forge. Well, unfortunately, she's not, and it's now uh, okay. 7 30. So I'd like to get keep yeah. moving as close as we can to the schedule. And I'd like to open up the public hearing. Uh, regarding the appointments that we do have. And the first one here is uh, filed the Stone Foundation, which will be brought down to grade and left on site with regards to property located at 49 Aldridge. I'll wait to hear. Bill, you talked with Ward Smith, right? So he's not going to be able to be present. Yeah, 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 yeah a couple of things. Um, unbeknownst to me, this project apparently was submitted a while back. I did see a, a, a plethora of correspondence today, including a letter of no take by Natural Heritage. Did you see that, Janice? No, I didn't. Well, let no. me tell you, again, this just came in a few minutes ago. I'm getting bombarded oh. with emails. Anyway, there's a no take letter that was issued by uh, NHEPS back in April. So that's in, that's in, uh, that's in the can. Um, oh. I did, yeah, I did get a a fairly uh, nondescript submittal by the Associated General Building Council. So we're going to discuss that. Ward submitted a NOI as a Category One with a one hundred and twenty-five dollar filing fee. Or one hundred twenty here from uh, uh, Associated Building Records. Yeah, I thought I one of the folks was supposed to show up tonight. Yeah, I thought so too, but nobody's coming forward. Okay, you know Ward would be here on the air here, so right. yeah, unless he multitasks, he's not going to be able to uh, attend tonight's meeting. But 
Um, well, Bill, this is that. Who's going who's gonna to present it then? Well, that's a good question. I think, I think. Uh, so we have somebody present it. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we, let's yeah. continue this because again, I just received the documents today. We've got to distribute this to everybody. We have to have time to review and digest some of this stuff. It's a fairly complicated project. So why don't we table this till uh, next month? Yep. All right. So done. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's move okay. on. Uh, motion, like motion to move this uh, Aldridge Grit Oil. It's the name is. What are we calling this project? Okay. Okay. Um, and what's that date? That's uh, June 14th. It's right, no, it's right down to the bottom. Yeah, June 14th. Yeah. So. Okay. So you should put that, it should be 14th at 7.30. Next meeting, yeah. And any further discussion? And without that, any, uh, any do I hear any uh, uh, approvals on moving this for one month? Vote for aye or, <laughs> how many ayes do I hear? Aye. 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 Okay, any any nays, any abstentions, unanimous. Okay. Okay. Is that okay, Jen? Yep. Thanks, Dave. No. <laughs> Again, one one editorial comment back to data status. For some reason that layer doesn't seem to be working properly. No. And well, it turned out the old mass mapper overlay was pretty good, but this new one, I think they're having problems with this new map, mass mapper system. For some reason, uh, I don't know what's going on with this, or maybe that's I'm just usually, not running it properly. Well, that's what usually happens. They have something that works well, and then they improve it. And it oh, doesn't. I know. Well, that's, you know, the IT people have to keep the job, oh, and I guess the other way they this. do it. So. Yeah, All right. I, see, so I see what it is. Soon, Like you say, Ed, as soon as you go into Chicopee, it's got all the final flood data. Oh, I see. It's got the green and the yellow crosshatch. Oh, I see. Once you go to Granby, there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're still working on it, updating our maps. So that's uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just just case in point, a uh, 108 110 is bounded by 32 New Ludlow Road, 112 Morgan. So if 110 108 are in the floodplain. Their neighbors, 32 and 112, are certainly in the floodplain. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one here is uh, GCC 2204 NOI filed by Alan Kotowitz. I apologize, I'm not saying the name correctly. For a proposed construction of two single family homes with regards to property located on Maximilian Drive, lots known as L, I'm sorry, 1H and 1G and known as map 14-A-2-9 in the town of Granby. Um, and Stephen's here to talk about it, so. Yeah, this, I, this is it, I'm gonna recuse myself. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, right. good evening everyone. I'm Steve Riberty, Senior Wetland Scientist. Um, yeah, just mention it too. When we when we're done with this part, can we go back to the discussion items? Because I had something else for Alan too to talk about briefly. Okay. Another lot he wants to develop off Chicopee Street. Um, okay. Oh sure. But that should take two minutes. I just wanted to go over a quick plan with you guys. Um, yeah. So for this one, he's got two lots off the end of Maximilian, off the end of the cul-de-sac. Um, there's um, a wetland to the west. Um, you know, it was delineated. We looked at it out in the field. It's very distinct well and boundary between the, the wetland area and the upland. There's a sharp break in the topography. There's probably a, I don't have the plan in front of me right now, but it's probably a four to five foot elevation difference between the wetland and then the, the site itself. The site is relatively flat. It's, it's forested. You know, the forest there is pretty young. You could tell there was past timber harvesting there probably in the order of you know, 20 years ago where they took out a lot of the big trees and smaller ones are left. Um, what Mr. Katowitz wants to do is, he, he already had an A&R done. So that, that one lot was cut up into three. One of the lots is unbuildable. It's mostly all the wetland areas. The other two, he wants to put two driveways in right off the end of the cul-de-sac. Um, one of the driveways would be completely outside of the 100 foot buffer zone. The other driveway would skirt just inside the the, the 100 foot, but we'll keep it outside of the 50 foot buffer. Um, the, the land there is relatively flat and, you know, the driveways will 
just will get out of the buffer as quickly as possible to get into the lot. All the development itself, the septics, the house, the wells, all that stuff will be located outside of jurisdictional areas, i.e. the buffer zones, um, no wetland impacts, erosion and sedimentation controls will be set up on the outside of the, the outer driveway uh, to protect the wetland. And as I said, everything's pretty flat out there. So there's really pretty low potential for stuff migrating toward, toward the wetland. Um, one of the things that he, because there's two driveways kind of side by side, and there'll be a little gap in between the two, and the site is relatively sandy, um, put like a, I want to call it like a rain garden swale in between the two driveway areas, and both driveways will be pitched in that direction, so the water will kind of go into the swale and infiltrate in and, you know, not really sheet flow overland toward yeah. the, the... Excuse, excuse me, Steve. Steve, I yeah. got a comment. Are, are they not letting you do a common driveway there? Um, I don't think we can. Um, I think Ed would be a better one to answer that. He put the plan together. Um, Ed, could you just speak to that as a representative, Alan, on this? Sure. Alan, Alan um, does not want to do a common driveway. I don't think they allow common driveways. I haven't really researched the zoning aspect of that. Uh, but you, you know, again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just yeah, F, yeah, FYI, Ed, on this. Um, again, I'm not a zoning expert, but a guy that helps me from time to time that you know is a zoning expert. And his opinion is the town is actually silent on common driveways. And there have been a, a, quite a few common driveways installed over the past 25 years. Uh, yeah, I, you know, off of Carver Street's one example. Well, well yeah, well, well that, and then and then there's there's others in town, and, and I mean two two lot common driveways, not multiple family. I mean two two yeah. lot, you know, something like this. Two lot common driveways are extremely common in town. I know um, in Ludlow they uh, they ban them in Ludlow. Uh, I mean, this is something that Alan would have to decide on if he would want a single driveway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, here's the deal. Yeah, here's the deal, Steve. If you're going to do that, if you're going to run them parallel to each other, you'd probably want to put your little, uh, uh, your catchment swale in between the two driveways and then pitch them re reverse. So the swale's in the middle and your two driveways are going to feed into that, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's what that swale. Doing. You see what I mean? That's what we're proposing. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, yeah. so so one would pitch yeah, east and one would pitch west, and they both dump their storm water into the uh, into the uh, water uh, quality swale. Okay, that, that's that's what's good. Proposed, Bill. Okay, but, but Bill, one of the comments, and I spoke to Alan when we were walking the site during the site visit. Uh, that was exactly what I was talking about, and I'm less concerned about the two driveways being side by side, but when the lot 1G drive goes into the, uh, it goes up to within 50 feet of the wetland. Uh, that's where banking the driveway away from the wetland and into this rain garden uh, swale design. Two driveways are side by side. You're really not within the jurisdiction of our, mm -hmm. our curtain. We can talk about it, but our purview starts at the 100 foot buffer. So right. when the drive enters that, keeping the drive pitched away from the wetland and having any runoff go into a swell. It's on the plan. Yeah, okay. Okay. But, you know, here, here's the curious thing. Nobody intends, I suspect these folks, do they intend on using bituminous pavement or just like a trap rock or, or, or process material on this? I don't know. I, I think he has a buyer in mind for one of the houses already. I don't know what they're proposing. Water quality swales are a very smart move. That's a very smart thing to do. Look, that's a forward looking approach. Okay. Okay. Sorry right. for interrupting. Buffer zone. Okay. We got the we got the DP comments. Um, one of their comments was relative to the floodplain. Um, you know, I think the comment was that we use the the firm map to determine the floodplain boundary and that is not that's not true Island elevation in the site the, the the floodplain is it's contained within the topography out there you know well away from where we're working so it's it's easy to say we're not inside blsf yeah. and i think i want to say it's like 15 feet oh that's pretty wide we have to scale off the plane it might be 12 <laughs> i'm not 
Alan, you know, Alan anticipates a 12 to 15 foot paved paved driveway. Okay. That. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm just yeah. adding things up in my head. So if you have if you have two 15 footers, then you have a 10 foot water quality swale. That's uh, 30. That's well. That's going to be 40, 45 feet of uh, disturbed width. We, and again, you're you're out of the buffer, so it's it's none of our business. But uh, uh, I do that, um, do that approach, particularly if <clears throat> if you have neighbors that uh, will change from time to time, so on right. and so forth. And you get an issue that's who's going to plow the driveway and blah blah blah. Right. Okay. Anyway, very good. Thank you. The lots are designed as estate lots, so um, anyway. All right, any further discussion? Any Anything you want to add beyond what you've already done, uh, Steve or Rick? No, I'm, I'm here for questions, if anybody has anything else, but it looks like a pretty straightforward project from other ones I've done. Yeah. Janice, did you want to bring anything up at this point? No, I had uh, emailed out a, a couple pages, including some photos. I don't think I did any for that one because the photos weren't very representative of the site. But no, um, I hadn't thought of any. It's a nice sandy site for the most part. Yeah, I so think I think it's a it's a very garden variety. It's a very clean site. So I don't think we're going to have to do anything special here. Um, Maybe just Steve, to you... have erosion control um, inspected before work starts. Yeah. And yeah, waddles, the, the compostable ones, where you can add that yeah. to a special yeah. condition or yeah. something. Yeah. Or, or the ones with the woven geotextile are okay yeah. too. Okay. What well, one thing, Steve? Did you provide a, a cut sheet detail to me? Change. And I forgot to pass it on. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't was, see it on yeah. the drawing. You no, know, it was in an email, and I meant to to include that, and I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah, because um, I. So, so I guess what we could could close the hearing tonight and vote on it tonight. Whatever you guys want to do. The the swale is the, is more like a you know sort of a descriptive graphic rather than um, a cross section or just sort of show basically what he was going to be doing. Can you describe a little more, Steve, what you're going to do there? Yeah, the area is going to be kind of essentially cut down. You know, the final elevation will be about a foot and a half lower than what's there right now, but they'll over excavate it to put in topsoil. So it'll probably be excavated down 24 inches, 30 inches, brought back up to grade with loam. So there'll be a planting base in there to, you know, for stuff to grow, whether people want to put shrubs in there or just mow it like a, like a grassy little to keep it, you know, stable is not necessarily a bad thing too. It helps attenuate the water and flow and yeah you, you know, know you know give, given the fact that it's a sandy substrate and you're way way over the water table uh certainly upland species will thrive you could probably just put kentucky bluegrass or or fescue or something in there you know any any fancy uh facultative plants will not grow in that environment so like you <laughs> say just garden variety plantings will grow there believe me yeah they'll get a little extra water from the driveway but that's probably about yeah, it yeah yeah, you probably have to put sprinkler heads out there. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> the year, yeah, they probably will. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been so oh, dry, believe it, me. It, it sounds like we could approve the project tonight. I think. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what everybody is. I I don't hear really any nays in here. And Bill, that you could send me. It's, um. Steve, do you have that handy that you could email it to Bill or not necessarily? Um, yeah, I'm on my computer. It'll take me a couple minutes, but I can get it out. Or I'll see yeah, if I can. But I'll I, see let if me I just take a real quick look at it. That would be good. That would be great. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I got it right here, Bill. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Normally, we'd be able to show it, you know, on screen, but since right. we're right. sort of operating under different circumstances, we can't share. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did not get screen I just, uh, authorization. I just, I just sent it. Oh, okay. Right. We'll see how fast the ether works. 
it went to Bill alone, right? Yeah, I, I got it. I got about 10 seconds, not too bad. Oh, all right. Okay, that's a generic sketch. Yeah, that works, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. So based on that, Bill, I would move that we close the public hearing tonight and, and uh, move to approve the projects as presented, uh, not needing any further wetlands uh, permit. Is that the right language to use, put into the uh, notes? I wouldn't do doesn't need any further wetland permit because we're issuing one. So we'd be issuing oh. an uh, order of conditions approving the project as described or something like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. I'm writing while you speak, Jan. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, let's see, I'll move to close the public hearing and issue the order of conditions, if I'm saying yep. it correctly. Well, no, no, we have to, we have to do this in two processes. Let's, okay. let's, let's move to, uh, you, or you move to close the public hearing. I'll second that. Okay. okay. Let me do that okay. first. Any, any discussion on closing the public hearing? Okay, none heard. Okay, all in favor of closing the public hearing, do so by saying aye. Aye. Any opposition? Okay, none heard. Okay, so the hearing is now closed. There's Kevin. I assume Kevin, you you agree too? Yes. You're having a hard time hearing me, aren't you? We yes. can't hear you, Kevin. Yeah. Let's make it. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 is good. Let's let's finish this up because Kev has to get up to go to the golf course at like three thirty in the morning. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Kev is probably going to leave the Carnegie uh, very very shortly. Okay. The 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 second part, Bill. Then we did the first part of closing the meeting, closing right. the public hearing. Okay, so now let's move. So Dave, why don't you move to approve? The project as presented by Stephen. Okay, Dave, I move to approve the project uh, as presented by Steve Rarity for the two uh, projects, 1G and 1H at the cul de sac end of Maximilian Drive. Any seconds? Okay. Kevin, do you second that? Yes. Okay, Kevin seconds it. <laughs> Any further discussion? Aye. Okay. Okay, unanimous. Now, Steve, I know you're a computer guru. <laughs> so, so what you're going to do is you're going to generate, you're going to send me the form threes on EDEP, okay? For... Um, these two for the, yeah, for the for the project, I, I want you to generate the uh, I want you to generate the form threes and send them to me, and then I can generate the form fives off of your form threes. Okay, because yeah, that will save me a lot of time. They'll save me about an hour's worth of computer time to do it. That way. Okay, if I can, I'll, I'll figure out how to do that. I could do yeah, that right figure out how to do it. You, you may have to. I, I may have to give you my nickname or something to get into the. I think it's Granby One or something. Okay. But, um, yeah. You'll have to do a share. You have to do a share of your form three. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, send me your send me your okay, I'll else. send you that electronically. Okay. That that's a that's the that's the uh, modern way to do this. Can we talk about the, the lot one chicken beans? Oh yes, yeah, we you missed that, Steve. Why don't you talk about that now? Yeah, you guys can't do screen share, right? When I submit submitted to that. Well, we'd love to do screen share, but we don't have authority. No, it's fine. So Alan's got one lot left, and that um, he's got that little subdivision he was doing over on the corner of Carver and Tiffany Street over by right, right. Um So he's got one lot left. Um, it's in the, there's a buffer zone on it with a wetland that's located not on his parcel off site, so it projects a right. right. sort of buffer into the site. But, yep. You know, the thing he wants to do is. If you're coming up Carver, you can see that house he's building right now. Um, it's like a blue one. It's stuck pretty far back. On yeah. the back side of that, there's more pine forest that right. you get in. I think it's free. Um, we, we did that, a that site visit, Steve, on that in August of last year. So we did walk the property. Yeah. 
So he was to do the last lot. It's in buffer. Uh, you know, the wetlands off site, you know, he, it would be similar to these two that we just did. There'd be the driveway would be in the hundreds of buffer just to get out of the out of it as quickly as possible. And then the house and all the everything else would be in, in the you know outside of the 50 or outside of 100 even. Can you do that under an RDA or do we need an NOI? I guess that's what Alan was asking. Let, let, let me ask a question, Steve. Someone approached us about another Shilovsky lot. It's called Lot 13. It's a 17-acre parcel on School Street. Was that one of your projects? No. No, okay. that's somebody else. Yeah, but it's in the it's in the immediate neighborhood. And I was just wondering. Okay, so Alan has nothing to do with that project. Then. Nothing I know. Nothing he's talked to me about. Okay. But again, the one you're talking about, Steve, you're going to have to give us some mapping information so we can give you guidance as to what to file on that. There was something. Yeah, there was something that um, he sent us, and I did send it on to you guys with one of the emails. Um, and it's just uh, like it shows the, the lot and the driveway and the buffer zone with an ortho photo background. It's like a one page PDF a lot, image. A lot one on Chinkabee Street? Yes. Yep. yep. Oh, I never received it. Send it so I can find it here. Um, I mean, I have my notes from our site visit and the wetlands immediately north of this property is what Steve is referring to and Amanda and I think Bill, you, you chimed in on that, that there's no wetlands on the site, but we are within the 100 foot buffer of the adjacent wetlands. So we wanted to see, I guess your question, Steve, for this site, since it's similar to the Maximilian property that we're just looking at, can you do it with an RDA or do you need to go through the NOI process? Am I correct? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, this one doesn't have floodplain associated with it, where we have that with Maximilian. Um, you know, this one's even flatter, sandier. The elevation difference between the, his lot and the wetland is probably 10, 12 feet. It's an old sand pit that they mined out. That's why there's such a big topographic change between the two. All right. I'm going to I send think, it. Well, we, to you. I think we have enough information, Bill. To, would we go with an NOI, or I think this could go with an RDA, couldn't it? Well, again, again, I have to, I haven't looked at the mapping. I got to look at some mapping. On this. I um, just I just emailed it to uh, the four of you to oh, Bill okay, and Kevin. Me, all right, all right, it was it was in the email for building permit application information, um, but oh, all right, one page graphic. But anyway, so I just sent it again. Thank you. I got it, Jan. Okay, good. Yeah. That's very similar to what we just did. Yeah, it's your guys' call. Um, you know, it was the process for him. Um, and, you know, saves the, the, the need for a full plan is more the, the savings, you know. If it's an RDA, I can get it on for the next hearing. If it's an NOI, I don't know if Ed would be able to do the plan fast enough to make so, the meeting. Yeah, it's just one driveway in between 50 and 100 feet away from the wetland for a certain distance. It doesn't seem to be that bad. And it's fairly flat in there too, isn't it? Another sort of sand site. Yeah, they, they wouldn't need to do any grading at all on the site other than, you know, remove topsoil, but there wouldn't be okay. any like change in topography. It's like okay. perfectly flat. That wetland boundary, um, is, are you, is that a proposed silt fence or what is that wetland boundary? There's the boundaries. Um, I didn't show silt fence on here yet. Um, the, I, I delineated the boundary and GPS located it. So that's where, that's where the boundary comes from. Oh, oh all it, right. You know, it's, you know, I, I have a pretty good GPS. It's within a meter. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, hey, quick question. Does someone have their audio up too high? Or there seems to be a little feedback getting into the system. There's a lot of feedback, yeah. 
Yeah, could could people maybe turn their audio level, their receive audio level down? Yeah, don't mess around with your mic game, but turn your receive audio level down. And that should minimize feedback. Oh, that's gone. That made a big difference, whoever it, did it. it yeah, who, 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 took, who backed off their audio? I backed off my audio, but there's nobody in my nobody behind me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let me. Yeah, I'm, I'm still hearing a little bit. Let me. Yeah, I, I got mine way down. Anyway. Okay. My guess yeah, is it's probably Kevin trying to deal with Carnegie. Yeah, I think I think it's Kevin in the Carnegie call situation. Yeah, I think it is Carnegie's corruption. You know, listen. The, the joke is if Carnegie Hall had acoustics like that, it wouldn't be a famous place. <laughs> so true. Anyway, uh, do, you, do you see, Bill, the image that uh, Jan just sent over? Yeah, or Steve I'm trying to now, where is, where's Carver Street with respect to this image? It would be um, at the bottom right of the drawing. Would it be to the left of the page? No, straight down on the page. Um, that that lot that's kind of like a similar shape, like that L shape with the little driveway coming in, that comes yeah. off Carver, and that that southern lot there, the one below lot one, that's currently yeah. being constructed. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So the one, the one in this this uh, again, you can't that little flag lot access that comes in from the south that feeds that new. That new house that Alan has 99% completed. Correct. Okay. Oh, so the other one's going to feed in off of School Street. Off, off Chickabee. Yeah. Chickabee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see. I see. I see where that's coming in. Then. Okay. All right. So, so from from your driveway to your wetland flags, how many feet is that, Steve? Driveway to so, so the driveway itself to the wetland flags, you know, probably yeah. 60 feet, 70 feet. Yeah. Okay. And and what's the nature of the wetland down there? Uh it's it's you know, it's an old sand pit. They excavated it. It's got it's semi it's got standing water. At least when I was out there, it looks like it dries up at some point in the year. It's all kind of covered. It's it's got vegetation throughout it, so you could tell like I think it's um water willow. I didn't go into the, yeah. the wet area. No. Is, is that is that Kestrel land trust land? No, it's private, but I think there is Kestrel trust land further north of that parcel. Yeah, because I, I know we had an issue with someone putting some solar panels on some Kestrel land a few years ago. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. I, I'm not going to comment on this till I get more information. Again, this is the first I've seen of this, and I don't like to, I don't like to rush on stuff like this. So. Um, I'm going to leave it open ended on my end here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see, just to get first to NOI, if I put it in NOI, we'll just file for NOI. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to have to we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on this. But um, that's pretty flat. And then it goes, and his lot is perfectly flat. Like everywhere within that white boundary of the lot is, is the same elevation, essentially, you know, plus or minus a foot. Oh, so, so there's a vertical sand slope yeah. on that property. It, it, there's a, there's there's a there's a cliff. This was I wow. guess Alan was saying, telling me the history of it. It's an old it's an old sand quarry back in the yeah. 50s or 40s, yeah. and they just never yeah. mined out the sand on lot one. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, if this were in Chicopee, they'd call it an escarpment, and there'd be sandpipers coming out of it. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. again, I'm gonna I'm gonna not comment on this. Again, I got to do a little bit more research. But thanks for bringing this to our attention, Steve. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, guys, let's move uh, onward. Are we not voting or anything? This was a discussion point, I no, guess. This is just a preliminary discussion. Okay. All right. Okay. I guess. Thank you very much, Steve. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good okay, night. Okay. Thank you. Right. Very good. Yeah. Well done. Okay, the next one is, uh, this is a continuation, uh, no. GCC. No. I'm sorry. Uh, number three. Okay, 2205 and a proposed uh, new single family house to be located on School Street and known as map 15-B-13 in the town of Granby. 
And I think Matt Walker uh, is here. His name is on one of the face placards to present this project. Project. And it looks like you're proposing a, a, a new house that's part, and I'm a little confused, the site plan, which was generated uh, by Heritage to show the proposed house and septic is actually a four acre lot, but the parcel it's cut out of is actually a 49 acre lot. So uh, are you buying the 49 acres or the four acre parcel within the 49 acres? So uh, we, we purchased this in order to build a house, we had to remove uh, you know, some amount of land for a building lot. So we removed about four acres right at the end of the driveway there. Gotcha. Uh, so we could build a house, you know, in there. Yeah, yeah. And I guess this uh, property abuts the uh, Turkey Hill Brook, or some people call it Forge Pond Brook. Uh, it's a riverfront project. So uh, you need to stay 200 feet away from, it is a buffer which I guess is what's shown on the drawing uh, created by Heritage. Does everybody have a copy of the drawing in front of them? I have one question. Um, what's the, I want to find this on Mass Mapper, so I'm scanning Mass Mapper right now. And um, okay, all right. Is, is this is this 142 School Street? Uh, uh, I've yet to receive an address. That's, it's not, it doesn't have an address yet, Bill, it's raw land. So it's behind, uh, if you're looking at it, it's behind 139. So 142 is on the opposite oh, side okay, of the street. Okay, it's on the east side of the street. Okay. It's on the east side of the street. It bounds. Oh, okay, yeah, you're near, you're near Brook. Turkey Hill Brook. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Got yeah. Okay. And that's a river front, I guess, project. Yeah, that's, another, that's another potential floodplain situation that we got to look at, guys. Yeah. I have a, um, I have a perk test that states that the location of the perk, uh, where the perk test was done is out. There are parcels 139, 141, 143, 145. How far behind the common rear line of those four lots Again, if we were able to share images, this would be so much simpler. This is the the drawing know. bill that is was created by Heritage is showing a, a diagonal and it's showing uh, 200 feet from that common back line that you're talking about to the leach field, which is about parallel to where the house is proposed. Okay, let me see if I can find that. Okay, hold on. And it's okay, here. Oh, here it is. Um, I got it. I might have it here. So it's it's can, it's an I access think, between number one forty seven and one forty five School Street. And right. then if you put on the um, twenty twenty one imagery, you see there's sort of an opening in the middle of all the pine trees. And that's about where the house that's is proposed. About where the house is. Yeah. Janice, could you a dozen? It just fills the page up. So I'm just scrolling through junk. Okay. Here. Um all right. Let's see. What do you have to do? And Okay, so I sent you, okay, it says it's still loading. I'm sending you the RDA um, a screenshot and his map. Okay. Come on. Because I have something you sent me at 10, 11.41 a.m., but... Um, I can't remember which one I did last. There was no, yeah, I got a bunch of correspondence, but no image files. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's the one at 12.14 p.m. Oh, 
More info for Granby. Oh. I got, um, I got, hello, Mr. Walker. Thanks for getting in touch with us. No, that's uh, that's the one right before that. I mean, so this is the next one. Okay, I've got, but we I did just find the RDA for your project. Nope. Oh, yes, maybe that's, yeah, it's the 1214 or I just sent it to you. So you should hopefully have it. Okay, okay. Sorry for the confusion. I know. There difficult when we can't just share on screen. Well, yeah, if we shared the image, this would be a piece of cake. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, so I got three, you sent me three files. Yes. One is the RDA. It looks like it was hand drawn by Mr. Walker. That's fine. Um, the third, I'm looking at the third page and that looks to be, okay, that's the survey plan. So let me take a look at that. I got you. Okay, it says flagging by others. So the million dollar question is, Mr. Walker, who's the others that did the flagging? <laughs> the flagging was done um, pre-hour purchasing it. As part of the purchasing process, I, I hired a wetland scientist, uh, Ward Smith. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with him. Yeah. Uh, to walk the property with me and just uh, kind of, you know, help me determine whether or not we'd be able to build there. And, and he he yeah. saw that flagging and, and noted it as, uh, you know, edge of wetlands. And it is it is topographically very distinct there, the wetlands and the and the dry land. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure if he did the flagging. Yeah, you. That's one thing you got to do. You got to go to your realtor and find out who did the flagging. You got to get those base documents. We, you know, we can't let these these by others things just slip by the wayside. We have to we have to dot the T's and cross the I's on these things. So make a note to yourself to go back to your realtor, get the get the base documents for these wetland flags. It's it's good that you had Ward out there. He's very capable. Um, Janice, does it not make sense for the commission to do a preliminary site visit uh, to the property just to do a, look, a walk around? I suppose so, you know, since it is a request for determination. Yeah, so when, why don't we do that? Years. Yeah, what we can do is we can do it one of two ways. Um, well, that's right. Have you already paid your fee, your RDA fee? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So so you're we're obligated to do that anyway, Janice. So why don't we yep. set something up where Dave and uh, Kevin and Ed, whoever is available to go out there and do a walk around then to observe that. But in the meantime, okay. get the uh, get the delineation information, if you would, please, from the original source. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did speak with uh, this is an old Shiloski lot. And at, after purchasing it, I did speak with him and uh, he didn't have any information on it. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I'd go to find that. <clears throat> did you have a realtor that you bought the land through? Uh, I did, yeah. Yeah, go to your go to your realtor. They should have all that information. Okay. Um, I will certainly, I will certainly try, but I, I, I don't expect okay. to be able to find okay. it for so many All right. Anyway, so I guess the next thing the commission's going to do, we're going to do a walk around and, uh, and see what the situation is before we, before we act on this. So, um, I think what we'll do uh, with your approval, Mr. Walker is we're going to defer this for a month. Um, to collect all that information, allow the commission to go to, uh, do a walkthrough. And then we can uh, we can act on this in, in June. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Okay, all right. That'll be June fourteenth uh, is our next meeting. Okay, yeah. duly yeah. noted. Very good. Yep. Well, there will there be an email with a link and everything. Yep, I'll I'll, I'll do that. Okay. okay. And I'll be in touch anyway. I'm I'll um figure out what might work for the commissioners i'll check with you after this you know and just see what generally days or times work for you and then i'll see what works with the commission we'll figure out a date for getting out there okay very good thank you sir thank you thank you again for presenting this to us and uh, yep. welcome to granby 
Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all's time. Thank you, Matthew. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So, do you have to actually vote to continue it? I think you should do a vote. Um, so continue. we're keeping the public. We're keeping the public hearing open. Well, it's not a hearing. It's a public meeting. Yeah. yeah. If it's an NOI, it's a hearing, Dave. And if it's a RDA, it's a meeting. That's what I thought. It's listed under the public hearing section. So, uh, but we're continuing it to the next meeting. So. Right. Uh, I, uh, just, 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 to be, just to be official, just to be official, let's let's take a we'll just take a quick roll call. I, I move that we continue the Walker RDA until 14 June. Okay. Second. Second. Any more comment? Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All right. It's official. Thanks, Janice. Um, who seconded that? Ed, Ed, Ed okay. okay, I couldn't quite tell. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the next one is continuing to 2202 to RDA filed by filed by Alexandra Panamarerava uh, to see whether work is picked on plans and maps reference subject jurisdiction to and of the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to property located at 51 Forge Pond Road and known as map 14C, block A14 in the town of Granby. And uh, I think somebody's here representing the project. Yeah, can I just say something first? This, this isn't really correct on the agenda because as we talked to them last time, they were willing to withdraw the request that was too broad and they're redoing it so just for the demolition and cleanup so it shouldn't really be listed this way and that's why it's also listed up under discussion um because they've created a revised map and they just wanted to have the commission look at it and see that they were it's satisfied with what's on it before they finish, you know, redoing the, the request for determination. Again, Janice, if the map has been created, it hasn't been distributed. So yes, it has. I sent it out. All right. Okay, I can send it again. I know there's too many emails and everything else. This is not a good one to Yeah, yeah, just just a quick editorial comment. Um is it possible to have some generic folder with all our commission stuff in it that we can very, very easily access rather than hunting through emails every meeting? I don't know. How would you do that? I, I know. Did, did, hey, didn't Kathy create some sort of Dropbox folder there for a while, a couple of years ago? Um, I'm not familiar with anything. I don't know. Ed, 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 yeah, Ed. She had a Dropbox at one point. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there a way to consolidate this stuff so that we, we don't spend time just zipping through hundreds of emails every meeting? I mean, if you had a Dropbox, that would be the only way because the problem is, is emailing all these PDF files, if the file size is too large, it'll yeah. never get through the email system. Right, yeah. that's right, that's right. So, that's right. You know, the Dropbox is the only way to access it. Yeah. Well, well, we'll talk about that going forward. So, again, we have to try to improve our efficiency as much as we can. Right. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking for the plan so I can send it out to you again. Oh, there it is. Okay. I remember the plan was very nicely done. Yeah. It, it was beautifully, it was very, very nicely done. Is that a new drawing done? It's a revised yeah. plan from, from last month. Yeah, including. Yeah. Yeah, Didn't did we want to break this project down into two parts? One was the the site cleanup and demolition, and the second was the new foundation installation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I sent that out, and hopefully you guys will be getting it through your email. Did you send it to everybody, Jan? Yes, to the four of you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, hey, uh, Kevin. Um, Kevin, is there anyone in the building with you? 
No. Do you anticipate anyone else coming uh, to the uh, the uh, Carnegie tonight? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Why listen? It's eight thirty, and you got to get up early to go to the golf course. So why don't why don't you uh, sign off now? If, if you don't, you know, if, if you want to hang out, that'd be great. But if you want to go, that's okay too. Uh, is this going to be uh, this project going to need a vote? Or is this a discussion? Um, it's just a discussion. I think we're not going to vote on this tonight. Okay. All right, then. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. That sounds okay. good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're a trooper. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for helping yes. out. Thank you. Thanks for going there. Sir, uh, I think, Bill, we uh, can we reach out to Kathy to get this Wi-Fi back up? Because we had it. It was working good, and now we haven't had it for two months. And um, I, I tried messing with the router. There, there, there's nothing I can do to get it on. I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> we'll discuss that. Yeah, let's put that on the agenda. Uh, Dave, write a little note about the Wi-Fi. we got to resolve this. I will. Once and for all. I will. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Kev. Thank Thanks, you again. Thank you. Have a good I've got, I've got the drawing in front of me, Bill. It is a very nice drawing. Oh, yeah. It's the first time I'm looking at it, though, so I don't know how. Oh. Thanks, Janice. I got it. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Janice. It's quite an extensive uh, oh, yeah. very control nice. barrier. Beautiful. So and it, and it shows the existing areas and then, you know, they're going to do something later, but they took that connector off of this one since this one is just for the demolition and cleanup. Um, yeah, I yeah, think my, my, yeah, my opinion is this is sufficient for demo and cleanup, but not for foundation, but demo and cleanup, this is fine. Okay. So do you agree with the uh, erosion control barrier? Well, can they, get a, can they get a truck in and can they turn a truck around with the way they're set up? Well, well, actually, they've got a dumpster. See where, the, see where the dumpster's located? Yeah, right in the front. Yeah, so they're going to put the dumpster, put the debris in the dumpster, probably back the truck in, and then they'll pull it onto the, uh, pull it onto the uh, flatbed and then drive it away and then just right. repeat the process. So there'll be no there'll be no three point turns on the property. And I think they've got plenty of room to do what they want to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. One and, of the things that people had mentioned last time was whether there needed to be contours put on it. And I think Alex well, well, said that you could, you could at least get the GIS, you know, what is it, three meter or whatever it is, contours if you want to just see sort of the general lay of the land. You know that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I think I think for the for the foundation construction, if the, if we need to go with an NOI, then they'll have to do contours. But I think for demo and cleanup, I think this is sufficient. In okay. My opinion. Good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So where where do we stand on this, folks? Well, we the the uh, applicant that is in the room, we didn't ask her to comment yet. Yeah. So. So should we file a new RDA with this plan? Yes, for the clean for the demolition and cleanup only. Yep. Right. Not not including foundation. Correct. Right? Is that right, guys? Yeah, yeah. And I I would recommend that we waive the RDA fee. She's already paid once. Let's waive the fee right. on this one. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so that needs to be done in the next, in two weeks, right? For the following. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll, so we'll plan a site visit too, so that before the next meeting, we'll get out there and take a look around and all as well. Okay. So anything, anything else right now? I think, I think that was our main question to see if we could, for the sake of, you know, getting the process started, if we could use this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Do this idea. 
Right. Is your last name pronounced Pomareva? Yes. Okay, yes, Ms. Pomareva. Yeah, again, I'm sorry, It's this is just so, it's such an awkward project, the way this is set yeah. up, but I know. But again, I'm, I'm very pleased. I think you and your husband did the drafting here. It looks great. Um, please get your filing in soon as you can in the next two weeks. We'll get you set up and hopefully we'll get this approved on the 14th of June and you'll be ready to clean up your site, okay? Okay, great, thank you. Okay, guys, any comments from anyone else? Uh, none for me, looks good. None for me either, Bill. Thank, thank you so much. All right, thanks for bearing with us. Thank you. Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, okay, bye now. Okay. Next project is uh, G it's a continuation of GCC 21-09, ANDRA, filed by the Triad Alpha Partners, LLC, to see whether work and boundaries of resource areas depicted on plans and or maps referenced. Oh, that's nice. My uh, meeting minutes cut off. <laughs> my my agenda cuts off. Does anybody else have the full thing? I think this no. is a continuation. It um, is. Yeah. And it's, it's supposed to be an that. ANRAD, not an R and ARDA or whatever. It's, it's a but, typo yeah. that's continuing. Well, it's not only a typo there, but it's also yeah. a, it it drops off ha over half of the description. Yeah. So, I don't think there's anybody here. here. I don't think let's there's anybody in the room. Yeah, let me see what I have here. So I think it's basically it's determining the wetland boundaries for the um, future development of the site. In any right, way. right, yeah. Yeah, mine's truncated as well. Yeah. You know? So. And there's nobody here representing the project. No, it's sort of in limbo at the moment um, because we were going to have the first week of May was going to be the peer review um, um, site visit and literally what was it a day or something before Bill or two days before whatever it was. Um, um, they we found out that the um, applicant was changing consultants and had not gotten a new consultant yet and therefore was not ready to have the peer review done until they had someone new on board. So it got postponed for now. So we're just waiting to hear uh, back from the um, applicant when they've got a new consultant on board and ready to start up again. So does this project automatically get moved to the next meeting? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Continued? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. I noted. So you should, well, you should again vote on it to continue it to, because um, okay. this is a public hearing. And so okay. to continue the public hearing to June 14th at 7.30. I, I'm not as professional as you, Bill, but I move that the tried out. You're more so <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> You're more so professional than I am, believe me. <laughs> uh, I'm moving to... I am motioning to move this project, Triad Alpha Partners, to the June 14th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any further discussion, Jan? Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, move, uh, how do you say the next part? It's all in favor, say aye. Yeah, that's aye. one way you could do it. One way you could do it, yes, aye. Okay. Any uh, anybody's any nays? <laughs> any no. abstentions? No. So it's unanimously approved. Yeah. Yeah. What, one quick story. <clears throat> yeah, that's the problem with getting old. Everything's a quick story. <laughs> a, quick, a quick story is I went to a planning board meeting probably 30 years ago in Taunton, Mass. Oh golly. And and in Taunton, again, this is fairly big city around Boston. Yeah. They went through they went through the motion and vote process on a number of items. It took them no more than five or six seconds to complete the entire process. It was like wow. an auctioneer. The guy was like yeah. an auctioneer. It was unbelievable. Yep. 
but that's yeah, but even the mass state house, they do they do the same thing. That's what they do in the big city. They run through probably a hundred votes a night, and they have to become very very efficient. And yeah. it only wow. takes them a few seconds to roll these we things should, off. Well, we should work on the language because it would be very helpful if we had standard language for voting. Because yeah. then when you're doing your notes, it's very easy to do cut and paste. And all you're doing is adjusting who makes the motion, who seconds the motion, anybody abstaining or uh, recusing themselves. It's very yeah. easy to insert names where people, it changes obviously per vote. Yeah. But if the language yeah. is the same, it's much easier. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Dave. What you might want to do is look through your Robert's Rules of Order. I think they've got standard clauses in Robert's Rules. Okay. So that's a little research project. All right, let me look. Now submit that around. And the last one here is uh, GCC 2006. It's an NOI 165-0340. It's a continuation uh, from Nate Booten, Center Street, Zero Center Street. And we learned shortly after our last meeting that the applicant has withdrawn his NOI. Now, this is a little bit different from for me because typically we've asked the applicant to withdraw without prejudice. I don't know what the difference is when they re withdraw without prejudice versus here, he's just withdrawing his NOI. I, I think we should just consider um, it's not no, like that's not, that's not really answering my question, Jen. Yeah. Okay. I'm asking what's the difference between withdrawing without prejudice and somebody who's just withdrawing their application? I don't I don't know if there has to be one. Here's here's a curious here's a curious twist. There's no Emily did no a, Emily did a tardy or is here her peer review in the in the wastebasket. I assume it's still valid. It's the same property unless they change the driveway and the house and stuff, but at least they'll know where the wetland lines okay. were. Because that, that's the big bone of contention on this property and the one suggested by Emily. Yeah, but we Isn't didn't approve. That, that wetland delineations are only good for three years. So if you're doing a peer review based on a wetlands delineation, does the report also become in? Okay. Well, we'll it is. take that off. So, okay. so I think if we can rattle off yeah. our administrative items, Dave, in about 10 minutes, that would be great. Well, we have a couple here. I don't know if Janice, you've learned anything on our, our the request for a certificate of compliance uh, from Nathan Bernier for seven Phillips Circle. We learned anything about that? No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, the only the thing I have to report is the birdhouses have yet to be installed. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't think they're going to be installed anytime soon either. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, for a DEP site visit last Monday, is there anything we should report into the minutes regarding that site visit? Yeah, Jan, why don't you brief us on that? Well, we went out and we looked at it and the um, DEP guy, Tom Grusko, uh, took a lot of photos and notes and we're sort of waiting, I guess, to see how DEP wants to handle it while the land owner trying to get someone in. Yeah. Anything else, Bill, that you would say? DEP is taking the reins on this because this would just... I asked you about that and I think this is the right place to uh have it noted is this becomes a DEP project so the conservation commission will be responsible for what monitoring or not really getting involved we're, we're, we're essentially off the table at this okay. point yeah all right so this will be this should be the last time we talk about this project yeah th there may be some correspondence from DEP particularly if they issue an enforcement order or, or a consent order with enforcement the two okay that that concludes 23 easton street there was another yep and um there was a line here iron for site plan reviews for the planning board i don't think there's anything additionally that we don't know nope. there's no one, no one in the room so administrative duties uh, commentary dumping leaves in the wetlands i don't know if we've done anything on that jan is that just staying on the agenda 
I guess until I until I get it done. <laughs> oh, all right. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Uh, we're, we're as of this meeting, we're posting the next meeting will be June fourteenth, twenty twenty two. The minutes. Jan was very gracious and reviewed our last million minutes and gave me some comments. I've sent I sent them around today. I don't know if anybody had a chance to review them one more time or have any comments, but uh, this would be the time. What time did you send them, please? Uh, this afternoon. This afternoon. Let me look. Let me look. Let's see. Oh. Uh, Two forty-one. Yeah, you're quicker than I am. 41 p.m. Okay. Yeah, oh, got Very good. Excellent. <laughs> yep, it's the, I'm calling it the final draft. Okay. And I think it's easier. It'd be great if we had a common folder to place all these items. I think that's a good suggestion. I don't know, Jan, if you had any further comments or I know you've already reviewed them, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have a chance to look at um uh, item six and seven. I'm confused. It said 239 Bachelor Street. That's our Shambo. 239 Amherst Street. 239 Amherst Street. Okay, okay. That was the one we we did get the map last meeting yeah. nobody was here and we were there was confusion as far as what was the what were they asking yeah. for yeah. so okay. we just moved the meeting moved the project to the next meeting okay 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 and then 192 bachelor yeah very detailed notes on uh 51 forge pond that's good i'm glad you did that dave yeah, we had a good conversation, I thought. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Newt, Nathan Booten, that's fine. Philip Circle, yeah. that's fine. Okay. North Street, Gary Porler, that's fine. That was a busy meeting. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah we, we moved. Oh, how about the fellow one? Um, on Deerbrook that wanted to wanted us to go out and look at his oh, that's yeah Nick Malloy I think Jan yeah. you contacted him and he had a uh, a new baby or something and a new baby was, was being born that Friday morning oh, yeah. so he was not going to be able to make something on Saturday <laughs> right. he said he definitely wanted to do the project and he wanted to meet with us but he was going to have to wait a little bit yep so it got pushed yeah yeah, and then Dave, one, one typo. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, 7A news announcements. Wendell Luff formally announced she is submitting here letter of resignation. So you got to oh. get rid of the last E uh, there. Gotcha. Actually, did she submit a letter or not? Well, she said she did, and she was sending you it to you, Bill. Uh, okay. that's, why, that's why it's written this way. I don't know okay. if you received anything from her. Okay. Well, about an hour ago, she telephoned me because oh. I, I, I'd like to get her signature on zero Phillip circle um, on that uh, Cropenis NOI because she was yeah. part of that hearing process. Right, right. So, so Janice, question for you. Is it yeah. appropriate? Is it appropriate to a, a, um, member that is no longer a member to sign on behalf of something they acted upon when they were a member i don't know it's possible not uh, but i <laughs> the only other thing you could do but this whole thing is so messy already you could have the commission that's present vote to reissue or to issue or whatever the previous order or something if you wanted to be really careful about it um but it that's that's several more steps i i don't know how to handle it i really don't because <laughs> because um ed, ed are you here 
because Ed, Ed, and I, Ed, and I, Ed and I are both recused on this project, Janice. Yeah, great. <laughs> so really, David and Kevin are the only voters on this project now. Uh-huh. So how can you sign an NOI with two people? Can't really. Yeah. So as, as I, could, her, I, could, as, I could go in under rule of necessity. And if Wenda yeah. could sign as a mem as a member at the time, if you will. But again, it's it's such a sticky little project now. We really we only have two active members that can really vote on this thing. Uh-huh. Bill, which one is this? This is this is Galusha's southern lot, Ed, the one that Crokin is. It's yeah, zero, zero, zero dated, Phillip circle. Dated accordingly. She, I mean, she was a, a, a dated for, you know, April. Well, it well, was actually, we, appro we approved it. Didn't we approve it the 26th of April, 2021? That it sounds right. Yeah. yeah. It was our April meeting a year ago. A year? Oh, it actually, yes. it's over yeah. a year ago because this it is May 21. Ago. Uh, May 22. So that was April 21. Yes. That it was approved. Yes. Yeah. So why doesn't uh, Kathy uh, Leonard sign on behalf of the commission because of the COVID restrictions and uh, dated, have to be dated back in. That's a good idea. Have her sign on our behalf on that. Yep. Any further comments on the minutes? We're looking to approve the April 12th minutes. And I've got one comment, one additional comment from Bill. So without further comment, be approved with the comments Bill Shaheen mentioned. And do I have a second? Second. I've got to get some good language here. All right. <laughs> uh, the, who is that, Ed? Did you second? Yeah, that was me, Ed. Okay. And no further, any further comments? And do I? Uh, yay. Yay. Yay, yay. Okay, that sounds good. Any nays? Yay, yay. <laughs> any, <laughs> nobody, nobody can abstain. So I'll take that as a unanimous approval. Very good. <laughs> all, right, all right. Uh, bills to pay. Jan, okay. did you have, did you have any? Uh, I didn't see any, so I'm assuming no. we have none for this month. I, I don't have any for me. I didn't, I just didn't get to it in time. I was just a lot more flurry going on of last minute NOIs sure. and RDAs and all that sort of stuff. But sure. we do have one to approve. It's the one to pay LEC for the peer review work that they've done so far for Tri Alpha. They submitted that bill. And I think that was in the first round of emails that I um, sent last night i think it was or yesterday sometime yeah this, did, did they itemize their work work duties and and billing rates and that stuff um yes well let's see it doesn't look like they put hours they just did um project coordination research review including discussions and correspondence with team and rad aerials delineation plan field schedule 825 dollars Preparation of GIS plan for field work, $255 for a total okay. of 1,080. So no, no details on hours or rate of pay. All right, well, it, it sounds like they did a fair amount of work for their money, so that I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, they well, they had to end up doing their own GIS stuff because SWICA um, wouldn't make the new maps with a background that they could read. So, um, they eventually sent them the actual data and they created their own maps. Hmm. Okay. So is the bill amount, Jan, is $1,080 total? Yes. Yep. So can I make a motion to approve that bill amount? I mean, I can make a motion to approve that bill amount. Do I have yeah, a second? Yeah, yeah, second. Yeah, second. I'll second that, Dave. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion? Yeah. So it's unanimous. Okay, yeah. good. We need and we need to do this for Kathy's purposes, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Send yeah. me okay. send me the details on that, Dave, so I can again put that in with Janice. I haven't put your bit the LEC bill in, in the next couple of yeah. days. Thank you. Jan and Jan, you said you submitted the LEC. I'll look. I'll look. You don't have to submit it again. 
I right. think the one that they PDF me their bill so that okay. I can write over it approved and I can reference this uh, this meeting sure. when I send it to Kathy for payment. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I will. Okay. Thank you. Um, next one is financial. Talk about that. Do we have any financial accounts to update? Yeah, I'm in Florida, so I can't tell you. Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, we can better track our our uh, income and expenditures. Right. Okay. Thank you. I'm still working on that too, Bill. By the way. Okay. Yeah. Um, the process. Okay. Uh, outreach education plan of the week, Jan. That's something you usually. Have yes, a but I just haven't. Uh, I just yeah. didn't get to okay. these that's sort fine. of minor details, and I I feel like you know if the meetings go awfully late, then people aren't really into looking at a that's plan right. for a few minutes. You know. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. Any new news or announcements to make? Yeah. One one quick one. Some research that we did a walk around last summer. I, did. I could have sworn that we required her to uh, do the center the of should oh, she pull really stumps, stumps out to moder to put the put the you put the silt fence in. You don't pull anything out of the ground. That's correct. about that. But didn't we say in the field that we wanted them to do the center line uh, of the? I looked at our notes and we did ask that they. Oh, the whatever. Driveway. But, but oh, she had. I think what she happened had is, when we, yeah, when we walked in the field last summer on this project, we had no idea where in the woods we were. That's the problem. And, and we were guessing where the driveway was, and they are crossing an intermittent. And I remember oh, yeah. standing. I remember standing there with Amanda talking about different. That's a guess. We didn't know for sure we were looking at the right place. Oh. But and you got to remember, this is the this is one of these bedrock financial projects that we they NOI Heather Comey NOI this did a good job, yeah. yeah. And again, they put in way too much silt fence, in my opinion. They yeah, they overkill the silt they fence. Did. They did. And I think we allowed her to cut some back. But again, now's the time to do the layout on the site before they start breaking ground. But right. again, no idea on site where the heck we were. Well, it's it wasn't documented, and she bought the project from Bedrock Financial. She had yes. talked about changing the footprint, enlarging the footprint of the house. There were yes. never any drawings that other. It's no, just because even when it's done professionally, you can't be sure they're going to put it in exactly right. But it's better than a crayon. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, just want people that get permits on these parcels and just dump them in somebody's lap. Is there a better way to handle this than we've been doing? Well, um, you can. Re Did Bedrock Financial actually came in and wanted a larger footprint and also a change in the septic system? Right. And right. I don't know. It sounds like you didn't get some real plans on that. No, we didn't. How are we supposed to check on that in the field? Well, and the field wasn't even documented when we walked the site last year, and uh -huh. she did. She did say they would, uh, at the time of, because there were also permanent markers that they agreed to install prior okay. to our walkabout. So when we go next time, it wasn't necessarily installed, but the silk okay. fence was staked. So that fence was going to cost forty thousand dollars because there was so much, oh. and. We had said, well, we could help her. I think, Bill, you had said we could work with her on reducing some of the silt fence if we mm -hmm. didn't think it was. So, so it sounds like we need to schedule a site visit. Well, we said we would go back, but my fear is if we go back and she hasn't done anything more, yeah. is that is that to yeah. contact her and ask her about the whether the, the permanent standards. monuments are in place and the silt fence is up yet and and say no to the stumping you know on a yeah. side note the the bedrock should have put the markers in we should make the the, the person getting the permit even if they're well, i agree with you ed but the horse has left the barn here i think it's going to be know. difficult I, I, well, I think we learned our lesson the next time this comes before us Unless unless Bedrock is still doing something in town, which I suspect they are not, uh, we have no we have no. I mean, right? It, it's putting or the owner at the time of the applicant application should be the one. Dave, could you research our minutes because I think we have fairly detailed. I can look at that, Bill, but I think those are minutes that were pretty <laughs> sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> they're not my they're not my minutes. 
there uh, April or May of 2020. Okay. Oh, yeah, online. I mean, I can. Okay. We'll look. We'll see. And I'll. And I can, Jan. I. I think I've sent you uh, the site visit notes, but I can certainly send them again so you have them. Oh yeah. Okay. That would be good. Because that will help you. We did give a verbal recommendation to Samantha. She was there uh, uh -huh. with Bill. I looked on the website. I don't know where else to look. And I there were no minutes for 2020. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Kathy doesn't have any either, she said. So. Yeah, that was COVID. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We, I'll just, we can, uh, dealing with small wetland violations. Yeah. Us, unless you no. know of something. No. So. Can I move? It's now 9.06. Can I uh, motion? Aye. Aye. And uh, the meeting is adjourned. Oh, thank you. 9.06. Thank Excellent. you. Well done. <laughs> hey, thank hey. you.